watching conservatives in Fox News, and I say news lightly, talk about the birth rate decline in America is very rich. But we need to know different points of view. So let's talk about Fox News as they talk about the decline in birth rate. Okay, so this one is titled, Population Rate Decline in U.S. Triggers Economic Alarms from Experts, Calamitous Effect. Falling fertility rates in the U United States will trigger a calamitous effect on the economy if it hasn't already. According to the CDC, between 2007 and 2022, the U.S. birth rate fell by 22%. Not a single state reported an increase in birth rates, although some experienced a slower decline than others. The U.S. birth rate is steeply declining, mimicking the patterns of other developed nations worldwide, causing the global population to stop growing sometime this century. The U.S. and other developed nations dropped below the replacement rate in recent years, meaning we are not producing enough children to maintain the population, much less grow it. Today, three quarters of U.S. counties and half of the states have deaths outpacing births. The Institute for Family Studies senior fellow Brad Wilcox said that we may already be seeing the effects. The low replacement fertility means closing schools, shrinking college enrollment, fewer workers and consumers, and not enough taxes to pay for entitlement. We're already seeing low um, fertility fallout hitting schools and colleges, but it will have big consequences for the economy as well, given that there will be relatively fewer workers and consumers and less entrepreneurial activity as the population of young adults in America falls across the nation. Demographic Intelligence Chief Information Officer Lyman Stone added that declining and delayed marriage rates also contribute to falling birth rates. Marital fertility rates have not declined by nearly as much. The delayed or postponement of marriages is the simplest sort of compositional factors behind falling birth rates. Income is coming in later in life. The result is these milestones get delayed. You buy a house later, you get married later, you have a certain amount of savings later. All of these things come later and the problems, they come later, but the ability to have a child is a kind of biological constraint. So by the time people feel ready to handle, handle having children, it's sometimes too late. Elon Musk says um, the collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces by far. He's sitting on a pile of money. There's food insecurity and people don't have enough to keep up with the rent and inflation. But this is the civilization that the danger that civilization faces. Far too many people are under the illusion that the earth is overpopulated, even though birth rate trends are so are so obviously headed to population collapse. Dun, dun, dun. The U.S. population is generally projected to grow, albeit slowly, between 2023 and 2053, averaging 0.3% annually before the population plateaus and begins to decline. However, this growth will be driven almost exclusively by immigration. The population shift will have a calamitous effect on the economy, evidenced by what's happening in rural America today, which is already experiencing rapid po um, population aging and decline. No country in the world has increased its birth rates, leaving little hope for the U.S. to do so. Stone offers simple ways that lawmakers could help encourage marriage and children, noting that the desire for larger families is on the rise. He noted that for some people, you lose a lot of benefits. It's very unfeasible for you to marry another working person. We need to address that. We need, we need to make it so that marriage doesn't lead to a penalty from the government like it does for a lot of people. So addressing... Ma uh, marriage penalties and addressing housing, addressing housing costs by aggressively building housing, both of those would have a signal impact on helping people have those kids they say they want. So here in America, they are still obtuse and not listening to women. They literally said in this piece that rural America could be an example of what America could look like, but they are not listening to women because what are women saying?
Women are saying it costs too much. Child care costs as much as a mortgage. Mortgage and rents are getting out, out like increasingly unattainable. Um, the cost of food is too high. They can't ba- women can't balance um, student loans and rent. Women are saying we're tired of being the primary parent without help or without participation from the men. Women are saying so many things. There is a reason why so many young women are opting out, especially opting out of big families, because many of us have seen how ragged the women get run. And since we are being run ragged, why would women sign up for this? Coming back to this page, fertility um, below replacement fertility means closing schools, shrinking college enrollment, fewer workers and consumers. It's all about the money, but they simply will not listen to women in that the economy right now makes it literally unsustainable, especially the way they don't want universal health care, especially the way they don't want wages that are actually livable, especially in the way that they keep cutting safety nets. Food insecurity is abound, but they are worried about birth rates. Yet, yet, if women were to have babies that they couldn't support, then they will be like, why are you having kids that you can't pay for, that you can't afford? They literally know what the issue is. The issue is money, but they only see money as far as us putting a dollar sign on our wombs um, as far as creating worker bees to work in these um, these industries. That's all they see. They will not give credence to the fact that it actually takes money to give food, shelter, pay for gas, electricity to school these people when they get here. But yes, let's just keep on thinking that it's all about building more houses. That's all. Just build more houses. Who's paying for those houses? Fox News. Anyways, embedded in this um, article was um, this dude, Jesse Waters, talking to this young blonde woman about um, the child free woman who was having a nice beyond a nice time at Beyonce for her weekend. And I'm going to show that for you right now. You guys go ahead, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share. Is this a trend among young women to celebrate not having a family? It is. It's the Chelsea Handler culture of it all, where they just want to pursue pleasure and drinking all night, going to Beyonce concerts. It's this pursuit of self-pleasure in in replace of fulfillment and having a family. And we see this often now. And this poor woman who was blasted online, especially by Matt Walsh and the likes of them, I do feel bad for her because you, you heard her say, she said, I don't have a family yet. And many of these women do want that. And I don't think she understood she was contributing to that Chelsea Handler culture that's very antinatalist. They think that having a family is bad, having a kid is a burden. And like you said, it's contributing to a declining birth rate and it will contribute to the fall of civilization in our country eventually. <laughs> Why will. the propaganda to scare young women away from getting married and having children? Because you see it everywhere with the climate agenda, You see it almost in a corporate agenda to a certain extent. Yes, it's a very anti-natalist agenda, anti-human agenda, in my opinion. We see it with everything. Be a boss, babe. Don't have kids. Don't have kids. They're bad for the environment. Nothing worse than carbon-emitting babies. That, to me, is a very evil thing to say. And they say this consistently. And we we do have a declining birth rate. We saw it with Rome. They had a declining birth rate right before the fall of Rome. It's happening here in America. It's happening in Japan. And this happens all the time in prosperous nations. And we need to reject this culture or it's going to be very bad. What's Shashuka? (laughs) I have no idea because I don't watch The Real Housewives of New York. I have a child. All right, I'm going to go find out what that is. Ashley, thank you so much. Thank you, Jesse.